we're now going to talk about Robbie Keane. Some people have a problem about it being appointed, like he's been, he's had no gig for a while. No. He lands this job with Maccabee Tel Aviv in Israel and people are talking politics about Palestine. Give me a break. Ah, uh, Ivan, Jesus, you're going to you're make me feel bad for having morals and ethics. <laughs> I mean, uh, no, that's not something I'm going to feel bad about. To be honest, like, God forbid sports people are asked to question about politics. I mean, Robbie Keane, before he signed the pen on paper with this contract with Maccabi Tel Aviv, surely, surely the thought has to cross your mind. OK, I'm taking over a football team in Israel. This might be deemed potentially controversial, certainly to the people of Gaza, certainly to people of Palestine, and certainly to uh, a lot of people in Ireland who have solidarity with, with people in Palestine. Well, what's your problem with that? He, well, Robbie Keane wasn't asked what, what his thoughts are on Benjamin Netanyahu's policies, or he wasn't asked about his opinions on a two-state uh, idea in that region in the world. He, he was literally just asked, you know, this is deemed controversial, potentially, do you have any thoughts on it? Um, and clearly he had no thoughts on it. But why, why shouldn't he be asked about it? You mentioned Newcastle. Eddie Howe was asked similar questions when he got the job and in Newcastle. And the, the answer is a non-answer because yeah. they focus on what's happening on the pitch. We can talk about Middle East politics, fine. But when you're talking to Robbie Keane, you're talking... I mean, the question I would have asked him was, they've had eight managers since 2020. How long do you think this gig will last? <laughs> That's what I would have asked Pro- him. Yeah. Not about Middle East politics, for God's sake. My only begrudgment, us moral high ground off the ballers, yes, as you well know. Yes, yeah. I, I, the I, altitude sickness, exa- I don't know how you exactly. go. Exactly, we yeah. get nosebleeds when we come into the office. <laughs> but uh, it, it's just the, the issue... I, w- I would certainly, personally speaking, I would take issue with, with uh, taking over a team in Israel and not expecting okay. questions on it.